Do you like tea? Obviously, I do. I went to my son's to visit and he had an electric tea kettle that was quite convenient for making tea. And I can't find the one that I want because it's made by Russell Hobbs and it's discontinued, unfortunately. But I decided to get at least an inexpensive one so that I could have the convenience of having hot water to make as many cups of tea as I want during the day. So this one costs under $15. If you're checking the text below, I'll provide a link so you can purchase one like this. Helps me out a little bit if you use that link. Super convenient, super, super affordable. I'm just very pleased with this purchase. This is a mainstay 1.7 liter electric kettle. It heats water quickly and safely. We have a visible window. Automatic shut off and boil dry protection and has a 360 rotating detachable base. One year warranty and there's some manufacturing information. If you're checking the text below, I'll provide a link on how you can get one like this or similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link when you do your shopping. So this isn't the one that I wanted to buy, but the one I wanted that I fall in love with is from Russell and Hobbs. And they're extremely hard to find. So if you find one and want to spend about $100 on me, buy me one in turquoise. So this is the pot. It's very lightweight. I like this one because it has a handle that's attached on both sides. Some of them have a handle that only comes around like this. And some have a handle that's on top, which is like the traditional teapot, but they just look kind of stupid to me. It has a little flip top. You can see down inside of that. Also wanted one with a larger area for cleaning. The vase is as simple as can be. I'm going to wash mine, of course, first before I use it, and then bring myself a nice cup of tea. It does come with instructions. Tells you all the parts, in case you can't figure it out. Pretty self-explanatory. It says, before you use it for the first time, fill it with water and boil it. Empty the water out and repeat the process. The second time, your kettle's not ready for use. Never insert the kettle or the power base to any water or liquid. You just need to clean the inside of it out. So this one has places where you can wrap the cord around if you don't need all that cord. And then just let it come out here. And then you set the kettle on top of that. Press it, cut it on, and cut it off. I had to cut this interesting thing off. Plug in the base. We have a max fill here. I admit I put a little disinfectant in mine because I just don't trust brand new things. I cut it on. And that's the noise it makes. I'm going to go ahead and let it clean itself the first time. First cleaning is finished. It automatically popped off when it got to boiling. Pour that out. Repeat the process. One pro is very easy to put the kettle on top of the heater. Very easy to cut it on. Very easy to pop the lid. I put a little too much water in there, so I poured some of it out. It's pretty easy to see the water level in here as well. It also comes with a quick start guide, which I just got wet. It gives you like pictures and very simple instructions, which I like. Cleaning too.
Now we should be ready to brew. You can see the water boiling now and when it reaches the boil, it automatically cuts off. The instructions tell you if you take the pot off before this flips up, then it's gonna start boiling again or heating up when you replace it, which may have less water in there. So I advise you to go ahead and cut it off if you take the top off. I'm going to brew a cup of tea. Also going to use the hot water to make some ramen soup. I'm going to crush my noodles up. And I find that I can sprinkle these on top. I don't have to wait until it's like three minutes sitting or whatever. Water in on the base. Cut it on. It's that simple. Now it's already hot because I have heated up two potfuls of water to do the initial two cleanings. So it shouldn't take it that, that long to heat this water up from my tea and my ramen. It sounds as if it is about to become boiling temperature and I can see that I filled it a little too high there. See the bubbles getting bigger. pop this stuff up, indicating that it's ready. I put a fork in there to hold the tea bag down. Yes, I know my bowls are chipped, but I still like them. And I'm just going to pour the amount of water that I want to have for soup. Place this. I'm going to leave that water in there and heat it up again when I have my sleepy time tea tonight. Very simple, very easy. This plastic but I'm not a fancy person. I've been using the electric tea kettle for about a week now. I'm very pleased with it. The price was super inexpensive. Another feature, it has this little filter in here that you can take out and clean in case you have hard water like I do. Can't take it out now, it's hot. I really have enjoyed using this. It's quite simple. So much easier for me to have a cup of tea when I already have water in here and it's still a little hot and I just have to push the lever to get it rolling again. Just like that. Very happy with it. I can also use the hot water to get the rest of my soup out of my pan. I make a protein soup with various ingredients. Just a very handy little kettle. To clean it, the how-to guide just instructs you to fill it full of water and bring it to a boil and then just pour the water out if you haven't used it in a while. Don't leave the water sitting in there for like a couple days without doing that. Let's kill the germs. I've just cleaned it for the week and I'm going to pour all this boiling water out and I believe that pouring hot water down the sink helps keep it all nice and clean. So that's easy. And two birds with one stone. This is the little filter that popped out. We have really hard water here so I'm not surprised to see that. So I'll clean that off, and then it just pops right back in here, like that. Mix it off. So this part's a little tricky. It goes in like this, so that the curved edge, and there's a little ledge down there. There's a little ledge right here. And you just pop that in there, flips that in here, and then you just pop it in. Thanks for watching my video about my electric tea kettle. Remember, it's free to give the video a thumbs up. It's free to subscribe to my channel. 
it's free to leave a comment and if you have time before you go watch another one of these videos i have a lot of tea review videos up they're kind of old but still probably pretty useful if you have time before you go watch one of those and until next time let's just help each other stay informed on things that make our life more pleasant thanks so much bye